Hello and welcome to section two. In this section, we'll be redefining the default screen that loads when we run our app. Then we'll add the auth screens and a welcome screen. We'll also add the logic to determine if a user is signed in or not. Finally, we'll test and make sure everything is working as expected. Okay, I'd like to show you what the results will look like in this section when we're finished. First, when you load the app, you'll see there's a sign in screen, and then you can navigate to forgot password or sign up. And then we're on the sign up screen, we'll be able to sign up a new user, provide an email address here, a password, and we'll, we'll be able to configure this password strength later phone number and we can also make this field not required. Then when we sign up, we'll receive a confirmation email with a confirmation code. We'll also be able to customize that message in the email and also the email where the confirmation comes from can be customized as well. So now we're on the confirm sign up, we'll be able to confirm our sign up and then we're redirected back to the sign in and we'll be able to sign in the user. Enter the email here. And then of course the password. And then when we sign in, it'll redirect us to this page with the user's email address and a sign out. And then of course when we sign out, we'll be redirected back to the sign in page. All right, let's go over the AWS console where we'll be able to verify the user. Here's our user that we just created. And we'll also be able to manage messages that go out. So we'll be able to manage the outgoing confirmation message here. And we'll go over that in this section as well. All right, let's get started.